Getting a new laptop can be a daunting task, and is a very critical decision that should get lots of thought. Some of the main questions should be, How long do I plan to keep this laptop? Do I need PC or Mac? How much hard drive space will I need? What is my budget? How much RAM will I need to perform my daily operations effectively? To be honest, the issue can be tackled in any order, but the most important one I can think of starting with is the budget. Next I would go with the needs, more specifically I would recommend focusing on the CPU performance, video performance, hard drive, then RAM. I choose this order because of the difficulty involved in upgrading the components. The more difficult it is to upgrade the component, the higher the priority of getting that component optimized to begin. If I am planning to keep this laptop for 10 years versus 2, then that also significantly influences the budget. What am I planning to use the laptop for? Basic work or video editing? Ultimately, the decision is up to you, but please understand that you seldom need to get a brand new laptop. It's about time we learn to focus more on the specifications than the emotional value of saying that you got it brand new. We have got to get past that. As someone who has probably owned at least 50 PCs, laptops, or servers, I cannot remember ever buying one brand new. It really is a waste of money. Once you validate the store, make sure to check the warranty and return policy. From my experience you should have no issues. Just don't go buying from a random person from locanto.com, craigslist.com, or australialisted.com, or gumtree.com. You may also check the manufacturer's website, or when in the US, I have used. 1. Amazon Renewed Amazon Renewed is a program that offers refurbished products, including laptops, at a discounted price. These laptops are tested and certified by Amazon qualified suppliers. 2. Best Buy Outlet Best Buy Outlet is a section on the Best Buy website that offers refurbished laptops, among other products. These laptops are typically tested and certified by Best Buy's Geek Squad. 3. Newegg. Newegg is an online retailer that offers refurbished laptops at a discounted price. These laptops are typically tested and certified by the seller. 4. eBay. eBay is an online marketplace where you can find refurbished laptops sold by individuals and businesses. It's important to carefully read the product description and seller feedback before making a purchase. My preferred place to shop when in the US is actually eBay. You can find great deals especially if you know a bit about hardware. For example last summer when traveling with the family, I purchased an i9 Dell, 15 inch with 32 GB of RAM, and a 512 GB of SSD storage for $600 used. I then purchased two 32 GB memory sticks for $100 and got a 4TB solid state drive for $250. That put my total at $950. I transferred Windows to the new drive, and put the two memory sticks in. If I were to purchase a laptop with the new specs, it would easily be $2,200. Please don't even say, but you are not a tech. Remember YouTube has your instructions all laid out for you. Or optionally you can even ask any questions in the comment section of this video. We will help you. Not bad getting a 50% discount on a killer laptop. The most obvious benefit of buying a used laptop is that it is usually much cheaper than buying a brand new one. Depending on the age and condition of the laptop, you can save a significant amount of money. 1. Upgradeability Older laptops may be easier to upgrade than newer models, which can be a cost-effective way to improve performance. For example, you may be able to upgrade the RAM, hard drive, 
or graphics card for a fraction of the cost of buying a new laptop. 2. Environmental Sustainability Buying a used laptop can be a more environmentally sustainable choice than buying a new one. By reusing a laptop that would otherwise be discarded, you are reducing the demand for new electronics and reducing the amount of e-waste in the world. 3. Familiarity If you are already familiar with a particular brand or model of laptop, buying a used one can provide a more consistent user experience. This is particularly true if you are buying a laptop with a similar or identical configuration to one you have used before. 4. Accessibility For people who cannot afford to buy a new laptop, buying a used one can provide a way to access technology that might otherwise be out of reach. This is particularly important for students or people in low-income countries. We truly appreciate you watching our content. Please don't forget to share with your friends so they won't waste their hard-earned money unnecessarily. Thank you.